So we got a structure fire last night. So my gear is just so dirty, it's wet. It has insulation on it and everything like that, so I gotta wash it. Stupid me, forgot to bring my GoPro to the call. So now I gotta wash it. So I'm at the fire department for at least two hours, so I thought I would film a video about five things we could do with webbing. Check it out. But first of all, I gotta go clean my gear. here this is it's gonna go on top there's your gear and clean So the first thing we're gonna do is the rescue drag. When you come on your victim, pretty much they're gonna be totally limp. So you wanna get your daisy chain webbing, you're gonna to wanna to flake it out, unhook the carabiner, you're gonna place it a circle around the victim you're trying to rescue. You place the, both their feet under the webbing and you pull all the way up to their crotch, just like so. You're gonna get a good amount of tight. Then on both sides of their arms, you're gonna pull the webbing to their armpit on both sides. You should have something that looks like this. Now with the two that went under their arms, you're gonna pull through the ones in the middle. And then you pull the slack through, you take your carabiner, you hook them both, and that's the rescue drag. All right, so the next one we're gonna be doing is a safety harness or hasty harness. So what this is gonna be used for is if you need to bail out a window or you need to repel to rescue someone, you don't really have a harness. And this is a great way to make a quick hasty harness, quick harness and rescue somebody or bail out a window or whatever. Shorter piece of webbing, you make sure it's not gonna be tied on either end. You find the middle mark in your webbing. That looks about right. You take about three inches, you put it down your waistband just like so. Now you should have two pieces. You wanna take your hands and go under your legs. Now you should have two pieces around your legs. Each piece is gonna go in between just like that and the other one's gonna go just like that. Now you wanna cinch these all the way up to your butt and after you got that, you wanna pull this out to cinch it just like that. Now the piece that was in your waistband is now out of your waistband. So you cinch them on up and then you tie it around yourself. And then in the back, you wanna tie what's called a safety knot. Now if you tie your safety knot, you take your carabiner that's always on your webbing, you hook it right here, and then you could bail out of something if you have a rope or if you're a truck crew or anything like that. Because this is how it looks from the back. It gives good support on your side, and then from the side, just like that. Once you get good and you get quick, you should be able to do this no problem really fast. Um, that's number two. See how they're doing. Still got some time left. Oh, man. Ooh, the hood is still dirty. What I'm really worried about is gloves. If I put on wet gloves, man, it ruins the call for me. They're still a little bit damp. But, it's coming along. All right, now that my gear is all dry. That back. Now that it's all dry, I think we're ready for some calls. We did get one. Look. Thank you. 